It's Strawberry Story Time! Hi everyone! Welcome back to Strawberry Story Time! Are you ready for a story? Well today I've got a story for you called Henry Makes a Splash. It's a story taken from the book The Adventures of Henry the Field Mouse. It's written by Josephine Coker and illustrated by Barbara Richards. And it's all about a little mouse. Now if we're quiet and we look just over there, you might see Henry peeping out because he lives under the shed. If you've got a copy of the book, go and get it and we can read it together. Come on. Henry makes a splash. Henry and his hedgehog friend Bertie were taking a stroll around the garden. It was a lovely moonlit night. The full moon was shining very brightly in the dark sky with only the occasional cloud passing over it to make a shadow. They had eaten well in the strawberry bed and had a good munch on the young peas with the usual helping of crunchy insects. They had wandered further than usual from the corner of the garden where they lived and suddenly realised they were on the far side of the lawn and the grass seemed to be sloping away from them. This was new territory and they sat quite still for a moment or two and listened for any other nighttime strollers. They could hear the owl hooting and knew that to stay safe they must keep away from him. There were all sorts of rustlings in the hedge as other small animals were settling down to sleep. Being night creatures, Henry and Bertie were wide awake and keen to explore. They walked on and came to the edge of the lawn, which sloped down to a little river. This was most exciting. There was a small wooden hut with a veranda and a wooden platform beside it at the water's edge where an old rowing boat was tied up. There was a flat, rather muddy patch of ground between the lawn and the water, with a few large clumps of grass and all sorts of plants growing along the river bank. There were narrow spaces between the plants, so they wriggled through the grass and the stalks to see what was on the other side. Bertie was very cautious, as he was not over fond of water or mud, but Henry became very excited and wanted to get nearer. Oh, come on, Bertie, don't be so slow, said Henry. <sighs> grunted Bertie. I think I'll just wait here while you go and look. He then settled himself on a clump of grass, his prickles ready to rise if anything unexpected or dangerous should happen. Henry had wriggled through the plants and was sitting on a clump of grass at the water's edge and looked down over the water. It was only a little river and the water was smooth and flowed along quite slowly and quietly. Henry was amazed at what he saw. There was a round, bright thing floating in the water. Bertie! he called. Do come and see what I've found! Very slowly... Bertie crawled forward, going from one grassy clump to another, trying to keep dry and stay out of the sticky mud. When he saw what Henry was getting so excited about, he just laughed and laughed. You are silly, Henry, he said. It's only the moon. And he laughed some more. Oh, said Henry doubtfully. How do you make that out? The moon is up there, in the sky. So Bertie had to explain. When the moon shines very brightly and the water is as still and calm as it is tonight, then you get a sort of picture of it on the water. If you were to look into the water yourself, in this bright light, you would see a picture of yourself. It's called a reflection. Henry thought about this for a moment, then began to creep towards the edge of his clump of grass and peered over the mud into the river. Oh, my goodness, he squealed. You are quite right, Bertie. There is me, 
looking at me. Be very careful, warned Bertie. You might fall in. Henry took no notice. He was much too delighted looking at himself. He raised one paw to give himself a wave, and in his excitement he overbalanced and fell with a splash into the water. Luckily for Henry, the river was not very deep at that point, but it was very muddy. He managed to scramble out onto the river bank, and he did look a mess. Bertie couldn't help laughing at this comical figure all wet and dripping mud. But Henry was not amused. I might have drowned, Henry shouted. It's nothing to laugh at. Squeaking, he hurriedly crawled back onto a dry clump of grass and began to wash himself all over, anxious to get all the mud out of his fur, while Bertie just sat and watched and tried not to giggle. When Henry was satisfied that he had cleaned off all the mud, he started to feel a little less cross and could see the funny side of what had happened. He looked over at Bertie with a smile and the two friends had a jolly good laugh about it all as they started to walk home. They decided that the riverbank seemed like a good place to explore so they would definitely be back another night. But no more dunking for Henry. Did you like that story? Henry makes a splash. There's lots of other little adventures that Henry goes on as well. Thanks for listening, guys. If you want to support the author, all the links will be in the description below. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.